another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Thursday. And today I'm going to show you how to do labs at home. So I made a video on this before, but I'm going to, this is a little different from my usual, from my usual videos. This one, actually, I'm going to go live and do the lab at the same time. So that way you can interact with me at the same time and ask me questions while I'm doing the lab. Does that make sense? You see my screen over there. This is lab time over here. So then do labs. So then this, if you watch this whole video, you could create your own lab at home, just having a virtual machine and what have you. So I'm going to show you step by step how to create a lab at home, which I have never gone over before while being live. So obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, do desktop support videos, talk about how to get into IT. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Let's get right into this. So the first thing I need you to do, um, I need you to download VirtualBox. So I'm going to share my screen with you, and I'm going to show you everything. So I have three monitors now, by the way. So I could see I could see and interact with you at the same time. It makes my life so much easier. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Let's go to screen screen one. All right. So what I'm going to do is a, uh, Hey Tim, what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're going to go into google.com and we're going to go into virtual box. So we're going to do virtual box, right? So we need to get the virtual box software, which I already have it already. So you just go here and you hit click the download button. And if you want a specific version of virtual box, you go to downloads and right here, you get the windows one, you have the Mac one and you have the Linux one. Obviously, what we're going to do today, we're going to, do, we're going to click on the Windows one because that's the one that I want to go over because I'm a Windows guy and almost 99% of the world is, you know, running Windows in a, co in a corporate environment, if that makes sense. Hey, Chris, how you doing? So what we're going to do is we're going to download that. We, I, basically, you just say I downloaded it already. I have it right over here. It's called Oracle Virtual Box. We're going to open that up real quick. And we're going to make one that we're going to make a brand new one, just a brand new one, just for just for testing purposes. I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to hit new and I'm going to do server 2019 test. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, labs, not test labs. All right. And I'm going to hit the drop down right over here and we're going to hit other windows and we're going to hit next. So let me go back. Actually, this is going to be 2016 because I said what I tried to do yesterday, it didn't work on 2019. So I'm going to do 2016 instead. And I'm gonna amp this up to 12 gigs of RAM. So you gotta keep in mind that when you're creating these labs, you wanna have a good amount of memory on the on the server. Otherwise it's gonna be a little laggy. You're gonna have a bunch of problems. And just make sure that you have appropriate memory to run these labs. If you don't have appropriate memory on your computer, then you cannot do these labs. It's just gonna be a really, it's gonna be a crappy, a crappy server and it's gonna be very, very laggy. And you're just gonna have a you're gonna have a bunch of issues with it. Just I'm just saying that. So my computer, obviously, if you go to Task Manager, my computer has 64 gigs of RAM. So this is not even doing anything to my computer. It's just like whatever, you know. So obviously, you need to have a lot of memory for this. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bunch of issues. Uh, two gigs of RAM is okay, but make sure that your overall computer has a lot of memory for this. Obviously, because otherwise, you're gonna have a bunch of issues, and it's gonna be a problem. So hey, Jobs, good show. How you doing? So what you do is you do create, I uh, do create VDI dynamic desk or whatever. And then basically this is how much, so how much space do you want on that, com on that virtual machine or on that VM? That's the question you want to ask yourself. So me, I'm going to make it about a uh, hundred work, a hundred gigs of space because I have a lot of space for it. So if you go, if you go to your computer and you go into your C drive, the C explorer right over here, the triangle, the yellow triangle, you go to this PC right here, it's, I have 642 gigs of space. I'm gonna make this 100 because I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff on this VM and I wanna make a bunch of videos on different things for this. I'm gonna start making more lab videos, by the way. This is just the first one, but this is more like interaction. So I can interact with you guys while we go live, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit create. Now it's created. So now you wanna do is you wanna go into settings right over here and you want to go into your process. So just going to use two cores for this one. And that's it. And you hit OK. So now what you do is you want to start that virtual machine. So what you do is you hit the start button right over here. And when you start it, it's going to it's going to say there's nothing here. You have to tell it where to go. So you have to create a you have to create an ISO or disk image. So what I do is or what you're supposed to do is I'm going to go into 
Google Chrome, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if you go into Google Chrome, you go into, you just open up google.com, you type server uh, 2016 evaluation download, you go into the first one. And here, you basically, you go to Windows Server 2016 right over here, and you hit ISO, you hit continue. Um, you put your first name, your last name, your address and everything, and you hit continue. And then it should start downloading the ISO. And I already have a copy of it, so it doesn't make any sense for me to do this. So I'm not gonna do all this, but I'll put the link below in the description when, when this video is over, basically. So, um, so I downloaded it already. So you go, you go into here and, and you look for the, you look for the optical disc or the image. If that makes sense, I have it right over here. It's 2016. You hit open, and you hit start. When you do that, it's supposed to boot into um, the server 2016, which is obviously that makes sense, right? It's supposed to go to 2016. It's not gonna go anywhere else. It's gonna go to server 2016. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna let that run, All right? So now you have your server 2016 it has booted successfully on this virtual box or this virtual machine. So you hit next, you hit install. And then what you do is, I'm gonna show you what to do right now. Just let it, let it run, let it do its thing. Let it do its thing, just give it a second. So for this one, there's different versions of it. We're gonna, we're gonna install the standard evaluation with desktop experience. If you click the other one, it's just gonna give you a black box with command and you have to run command lines. You don't wanna do all that, that's a headache. So I'm gonna use the one with the desktop support experience. So you click on next, uh, accept the terms of agreement, obviously. So we're not, we're, not, we're not upgrading anything, we're just installing the Windows operating system. So you're gonna click install Windows only and you hit next and that's it. So all you gotta do. So far, so good. No issues right now. Yes, good, good memory and get an SSD. That's what I have. So I have an SSD and um, I have a, a lot of memory. I have 64 gigs of RAM. So for, for my computer to run this is like nothing for me. It's like whatever, you know, my computer is able to handle it, obviously. So. And, I, and this is more like interactive, interactive uh, live training. So like, if you want to interact with me, you can while we do this. Cause some people are like, wait, 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 you, you're going too fast. Or some people are like, wait, 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 what do you, what did, what did you just do? Or wait, 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 what, 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 what you press? I'm confused, you know? So this is more like, like I do the training or the lab with you guys. And then you literally like, if you want to ask me something you can ask me something. So that's basically what this was. The, that's basically what the purpose of this video is for, is for you guys to Ask me any questions while I'm doing this. What are you trying to do on server 2016? I'm installing it. I'm doing a lab today. You're going to see right now. You're going to see, Brad. You're going to see. Yeah, you're going to see. You'll see. You'll see what I'm going to do. It's going to be a little different. You'll see. You'll see what I'm going to do. So now this is installing right now, right? The next thing I need you to do as a favor for me, I need you to go into... Google again, right? And I need you to go into it and I need you to get Exchange Server 2016 download. So I need you to go here and I need you to get the, the Cumulative Update 13 Exchange Server 2016 download. I need you to get that. So I'm gonna do something a little different for today, a little different. You're about to see what I'm gonna do. All right, so this is installing right now. And it's trying to boot from the CD, which it, it shouldn't be doing that, you know? It shouldn't do that at all. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the on the CD and we're gonna remove this from drive. Cause you don't gotta do all that anymore. This is done. It's, it's finished installing already. So I don't need to have the disc anymore on this drive. So I'm gonna remove it. So I right clicked and removed it and that makes sense. So why am I going over this? I am going over this because a lot of people do not have work experience and a lot of people don't know how to make a lab at home. And a lot of people don't know mm -hmm how to add experience on their resume. So after you watch this video, you can actually add this on your resume if you understand what you're doing. You could say I install server 2016. You could say I did active directory. You could say that blah, 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 you know. So that's basically why I'm going over this. So now that I'm here, I'm gonna make a password. You gotta make a password for this. You can't just, you know, log into it on the fly. You have to make a password for this. So 
I always make my passwords very, very easy. I try not, make, try not to make it complicated. So the password is uh, capital P, password, one, two, three. No, I'm not doing a pre. This is different. You're about to see it right now. So control, delete. I'm going to log in right now. Capital P, password, one, two, three. All right. Now I'm successfully logged in, right? Uh, that's fine, yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna adjust the date and time because that's not the right time. I'm not on Pacific time, I'm on Eastern time. I'm gonna change this, to, I'm gonna change the time. It's 1.30 right now. I'm gonna close out of that, right? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename the server because I don't like the name of the server. So I'm gonna right click on this PC just to show you what I'm doing. So I'll go into C Explorer. Uh, I go into it, I click on it. This PC, I right click on this PC, I'm gonna hit properties. And it has like this weird name, Win DJT, whatever, whatever, whatever. Not, I'm, I'm gonna change the name of it. I don't like that name. The name doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm gonna hit change. And I'm gonna change it to server. 2016. Now, when you change the name of the server, it's going to prompt you to restart the computer, which is totally fine. I'm going to hit close, restart now. This video is to help people that are new to IT that want to, want, want to know how to build a lab at, at, at home. You know, why am I going over this? Because I'm getting tired of people emailing me, Kevin, how do I make a lab at home? How do you make a lab at home? Now I'm making a lab now, so you can't say anything to me. You can't say that there's no video of me making a lab. So. That's why I'm going over this. A lot of people want to know how to get real life training experience from their personal computer. That's why I'm going over it, if that makes sense. So same thing, you log in with the password you created. So I'm going to, I'm going to log in with the password I created. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to go into IE. I'm going to open up IE. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go into Google.com. And it's going to say this weird nonsense, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna hit add. That's fine. That's fine. Add, close, uh, close, and then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the gear tab. I'm gonna hit Internet Options. I'm gonna go into local, local internet. I think it's this one, Custom Levels. And I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. So this should be Enable. So this is Enable. I'm gonna go to Internet, and I'm gonna hit Custom Label uh, Level. I'm gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down, it's disabled here, I'm gonna hit enable. I'm gonna hit yes, I'm gonna hit okay. Now I'm gonna do Chrome, download, Chrome offline installer, offline installer. That's fine, that's fine. Click on this one, add, that's fine, add. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm going to add, add. So I hit download. I'm going to hit save. All right. Yeah, I know, I know, Don. I should want to do that, but I want to do that. It's fine. It's fine. I know I could do all that. It's totally fine. I'm gonna install this. Just bear with me. Hey, Kevin. I'm on the phone into you later. Thanks again for the resume pointer. School, Michael. I'm presenting. I'm I'm present presently taking an AD course on Udemy. I'm presenting on Apple. I would love to set up a lab at home. Is that a domain or work group? It's a work group right now. I'm going to add it to a domain. All right. So I have the download for this now. I'm going to close all this. Um, I'm going to close all this. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go to google.com. And I'm going to do API runtime. Uh, API. Runtime API download. Give me a second. Just bear with me.
So now I'm going to download this. I'm going to download uh, Unified Management, Unified Communication, Manage API. And I'm going to click on the first one. And I'm going to click Download. Going to download that real quick. You're about to see what I'm going to do. I recently got promoted at my job for stepping up on my head help desk for that's good job, Chris. So I'm gonna hit runtime setup.exe. I'm gonna hit runtime. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna hit install. Next, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to google.com again. I'm going to get Microsoft Visual C++ 2013 redistribution download. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. Uh, that's the wrong one. Redistribution download. Is this the right one? This is the right one. I'm going to click this. Um, X64 is the right one, is the one that you need, not the X86. X60, X86 is for 32 32-bit operating system, so I'm getting the 64-bit one. I'm going to hit run. I'm going to hit install, and I'm going to install this. So now I under, I, I installed um, I installed runtime, I installed visual, and um, that's it. That's all I installed. So now what I'm going to do is, you're going to see what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go into here, right? You're about to see right now. So I do have a video on this, by the way, you're about to see. Uh, I'm going to go cap tag exchange. I'm going to open up this video, right? I'm going to, I'm going to bookmark this. You're going to see what I'm going to do right now and close out of this. I'm going to go to server manager. I'm going to open up server manager. I'm going to right click on, it. I'm going to pin to taskbar. I'm gonna go into tools. I'm gonna to go into, actually, sorry, add roles and features. And I'm gonna go into next. I'm gonna go into next. I'm gonna go into next. And then I'm gonna install Active Directory services. So we're gonna do Active Directory domain services. It's gonna add all these other features. I'm gonna hit add all the features. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna hit next. And I'm gonna hit install. Now it's installing Active Directory. So now I'm going to, I'm going to actually put this on a domain controller. So now I want to promote the server to a domain controller. I'm going to click promote server. Obviously, since this is, a, this is a brand new domain, I'm going to hit add a new forest and I'm going to type and put kevtech on it, kevtech.com. And I'm going to hit next. And you're going to put the password that you have for this, which is my one, mine is password one, two, three, capital P, password one, two, three. And I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to hit next. And it should auto popular domain name BIOS to kevtech.com or whatever. Hey, I fire you doing. I'm gonna hit next. Yeah, it's fast, right, Donish? It's very fast. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna hit next. I've been I've been I've been wanting to make this lab a long time ago, but my, my computer couldn't handle it. Now it's like nothing for me because I have 64 gigs of RAM and I have a I have a, a AMD Ryzen with 12 cores, so it's extremely fast for me. So I'm gonna hit install. It's installing right now, installing right now. Give it a second. Hope you guys are I hope you guys are having a great day. So today is a lab training. I uh, lab's lab training. So give me so this is a lab training. Okay. Just bear with me.
Yeah, so bear with me. Yeah, I hope you guys are, I hope you guys are having a good day. I wanted to make this video for everyone because some people don't, some people have questions along the way while I'm doing this. So that's the reason why I'm doing this live right now because I was doing this. I made another video on this and people are like, Kevin, I'm you're missing a step, or Kevin, why is it not working for me? Or Kevin, what am I doing wrong? So I'm gonna I'm doing it right now for you guys so you guys could see what I'm doing and see how it works if that makes sense. Hey Mantis, how you doing? Yeah, so we're gonna install the server now. So you install, I, I got the, I got the downloads. I, I, uh, I, I got VirtualBox. I uh, installed the ISO on server 2016. Um, I ran um, API runtime 4.0. Um, I ran Visual Visual Studio or Visual uh, Distribution, Microsoft Visual uh, C++ distribution 2013, and I'm running a bunch of stuff. There's a reason. There's a reason for all that, by the way. So you're about to see. So let this install. Just give it a second. It's still running. It's still running. Still running strong. Give it a second. It's taking, it's taking its time because you know obviously it's we're installing a bunch of bunch of services on this, so it's going to take some time. Yes, yeah, so just bear with me. I've been I've been dying to make this video. You have no idea. I've been dying to make this. I'm like, every time I every time I try to make a video like this, my my whole computer doesn't can't handle it. But now, now that I have the resources on my computer, I have a gaming PC. Obviously, it's gonna be able to take it, and I have three monitors too. So obviously, I'm super I'm super uh, amped about this. I'm like, oh, I want to make a video on this. So now it's gonna sign you out. It's supposed to sign you out. So it's probably gonna do that while while um while I'm like actually. If now just restarted anything, I'm supposed to sign you out. There we go, sign me out. There we go. I was like, come on, sign me out. So now, now we're actually it's restarting. It's restarting. Um, it should be on a domain controller now. So we're gonna we're gonna check that right now. Just give it a second. It's installing right now. I'm hungry right now. <laughs> it's funny. I I ate already. I'm just drinking water. I'm drinking. I'm drinking water right now. So. Yeah. Just let it. Just let it apply the computer settings. Um. Just give it a second. Holy crap, I got a lot of messages. What the heck is this? All right. How oh, you ate already? Nice. That's good. It's <laughs> good. Yeah, I was, I was like, I was, I woke up this morning. Um, I finally got eight hours of sleep, which I never get eight hours of sleep, which is really rare that I get eight hours of sleep. Um, it's just super rare that I get eight hours of sleep. So I usually get like five or six hours of sleep and I knocked out yesterday. And then I woke up this morning. I'm like, I should make a live video on labs for people. Cause I don't have, I only have a few videos on that. I should make more videos on that. I'm going to make a video on that. So that's why I woke up this morning. I'm like, eh, let's do this. Now at this point, he installed the the king, the king, which is called the domain controller, and has AD, which controls all the other machines, users, objects, etc. Yep, yep, that's absolutely right. So it's still it's gonna take a while because this does take a while to to set up the settings and stuff like that. But it should be good after this. You're 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 about to see what I'm gonna do next. So.
have I have to leave in 30 minutes for the dentist, but I don't want to leave. <laughs> it's funny. You're funny, man. You're funny. Yeah, this is this is more for um this video is more for you guys for the new people not 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 Donish obviously Donish knows what he's doing you know, and I know what I'm doing just this is more for the new people because a lot of people don't know where to start and a lot of people don't know how to make labs at home so this is something a little different for everyone. So, hey uh not not n o o t so like I'm gonna make a I wanted to make a video on this because a lot of people don't know what to do or don't know where to start. Or don't know where to get like what to do as a lab at home. And I tell people like, I tell people the difference between you and someone else is that if you make these labs at home and you have the hands-on training experience, add that to your resume. If you know what you're doing, add it to your resume. Add that you install Server 2016. Add that you you know how to create Active Directory. Add that you know how to how to how to promote a server. Add that you know how to use how to create user groups and computers and blah blah blah. You know. Add that you know how to do password resets. So there's a reason why I gotta go over this, you know, because there's a lot. It's not this. This is different. This is not something that you know. This is something that you need to know if you're trying to get a job in IT. But this 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 will make you stand out as a person if you're doing these labs at home. Like do the lab, get familiarized with the with the application, get familiarized with all that stuff, and then once you build enough confidence in all these labs, once you build enough confidence, add it to your resume because. A lot of these, a lot of these companies, um, they want to see that. They want to see the, your projects, your side work. They want to see things that you know how to do. So this is super important that you make these labs at home. It's very important, actually. So, so you know, you know how it is. It's not not the third LOL. No way to use MS Project to online your network building project from start to finish. Yep, that's true. Yeah, so like, like this is something that I need to like, I need to promote on my channel is for people to just make labs at home. Labs will help you. Labs are good for you. That's why I'm going over this today. So once we do that, it should be, you know, this is almost done. It does take a, a quite some time to to actually install. Well, that's the reason why I'm going over this. And um, it's super duper important. I tell people it's very important. This is this is important. This is not like, this is not like stuff that this is stuff that this is. This is key. This is key here. If you know how to do these things and you know how to put it on your resume and you know how to explain it, it will make you stand out as a person. This is why I make these labs at home. So now you can see that it's in the domain controller. How do you know it says sign into KevTech? How do you how do you um how do you check the name of the computer? You do dot the slash and it should it should change the name of it. And you could log in as you know as as the local admin, but we're not gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna do that password again, I'm gonna log in. So, so now that we're done with this, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go into control panel. Oh, that's, I did not wanna open that, I opened the wrong thing. I'm gonna go into control panel and I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna connect to network, I'm gonna go to view network settings, change adapter settings, I'm gonna click on kevtech.local or whatever, kevtech.com. I'm gonna double click on internet, I'm gonna change this to uh, obtain automatically. I'm gonna change this to obtain automatically. Um, I'm gonna close out of this, close out of this, close out of this, close out of this. Um, I'm gonna drag Chrome over here. I'm gonna open it up. Um, I am going to, I am going to go into here. I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna choose, choose this image and I'm gonna go into Exchange Server, and I'm gonna put it on the local the local disk D. There's a reason for that. You're about to see what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna open up my old video, my really really old video that I made on labs. I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna open up PowerShell. I'm gonna open up PowerShell. I'm gonna run it as admin as administrator. I'm gonna do d dot d i r. All the files are right there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna run these commands. I'm gonna run this one. 
I'm going to install RRS SAT tools. Then I'm going to try to run this one. I'm going to do install Windows feature net framework and see if I get any error messages. I wanted to know if an email server is the same as Exchange server. Got it. JK, just a couple of weeks ago on this, and I started to learn a lot. Grab the lab at home. Thank you, Kevin and Donish. <laughs> Follow one specific person, not trying other methods. What are the old ways of learning IT skills? Uh, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm just reading. What are the old days of learning? Blah, 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 blah. He's still reading my book. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Instant ramen and tattoo. <laughs> In instant ramen and, and what? What the? They said it's the Robin and tattoos. I read, I read that wrong. Something wrong with me. All right. Uh, I love learning new skills. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so this is installing right now. Let's give it a second. So you you saw I changed the letter from from uh from from C to D. Why did I change it to C to D? Because I'm running an install right now on the letter D. D is the exchange server file, which is right over here. If you see it, it's right here. So, so right now it's installing. Give it time, it's installing. It's gonna, it's gonna take some time. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is not like one of those things that it, it's gonna be fast. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give it some time, you know? So. It's a pleasure, Don Danish. I like that you're not arrogant. You're always open to learn, to listening and not shutting people down. Yeah, man, it's cool. 450 degrees, 17. Yo, Barry, you trying to make everyone hungry over here? Come on, man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> trying to make everyone hungry over here, man. That's a problem for me, trying to make me hungry. Yeah, so I'm gonna open up I'm waiting for that to, while I'm waiting for that to run, I'm gonna click on this one, copy this one, go back into PowerShell. This is almost done. Trying to make me hungry with pizza comments. Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Ninety-two percent. I need food. I, I, but my, my, uh, my food is ready. Um, my, my food is, uh, my food is ready. But I, I'm not gonna eat right now. I ate already. I'm not, that, I'm not hungry right now for some reason. For some weird reason, I'm just not hungry. But it's because I ate earlier. So that's, that's I drank a lot of water too. So. All right, install this successfully. All right, good. So what do you guys what do you guys think of this so far? Is this, does this make sense? And what I'm doing doesn't make does it make sense or is this like confusing people, you know? And I, I know I could just do I know I could just press something else, but this is this installed successfully. So I'm going to What do you guys think so far? Is it okay? Does this help? I'm gonna install this. Does it help you guys? I hope so. I'm just taking my sweet time with this, you know? Andrew Price, uh, Andrew uh, Prince, sorry. What are you installing? I'm installing, uh, I install Active Directory on server 2016. Um, I also install the, um, um, I'm in the process of installing Exchange, by the way. So that's 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 basically what I'm doing right now. I'm installing Exchange right now. I'm installing Exchange Exchange on this computer right now. Running, I'm running PowerShell commands and I'm trying to get Exchange Exchange to work. Yeah, no, it's a, it's this is not as easy. It's not complicated. So, so, so it, you see it failed. So it says it requires Net Framework 4.7.2. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do net framework 4.7.2 download. And 
I'm going to download it. Uh, net framework. It's missing net framework. It's not letting me do anything unless I install net framework. So uh, that, that actually failed, which is totally fine. I'm going to install it right now. So, so you saw the error message, right? It said, cannot install it, it failed. Net framework is missing from the computer. So I'm gonna install that right now. So sometimes you get error messages, you gotta know how to troubleshoot it. So part of working IT is knowing how to troubleshoot the issue. Just read what it says, like just read the error message, look at the error messages, analyze the error message and, and just use common sense. Like on, on this, like, like I ran the PowerShell command, right? It says, Computer requires net framework 4.7.2. So literally I just got to download it. It's nothing complicated. You know, it's not rocket science. So I have to download net framework. So I'm doing that right now. And it might, it might make me restart the computer again because when you install net framework, it's going to make you restart the computer. Sometimes when you install these programs, it's going to make you restart the computer. So just read what it says, you know, pay attention to detail. One of the most important things I, I tell people in IT, in, whether you're new or old, doesn't matter how, how long you've been in IT, pay attention to detail and also ask for help. You can, never, you can never go wrong without asking for help. Ask for help. If you don't know how to do something, ask for help. People are here to help you. We're here to help you. I'm here to help you. Donish is here to help you. I'm on Discord as well. And we have people everywhere, you know, and then even in your job, like they're willing to help you if you ask for help. Ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help, you know? See, it's gonna tell me to restart. I told you it's gonna make me restart. Restart now, that's fine. It's a Windows update right now, look at this. <laughs> I, it's gonna install it, this is a Windows update. Yeah, so pay it, uh, uh, rate, like attention to detail, super important when you when you work IT. Whether you work, whether you work, whether you're new or old, attention to detail is extremely important. Make sure you, you pay attention to detail. That is super duper important. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bunch of issues when you when you're dealing with people, when you're dealing with anything, you're gonna have a bunch of issues. Pay attention to detail, super important. So PowerShell looks advanced. No, that's all right. Feels like a work real work day. Haha. <laughs> I think it's more easy to understand it through the GUI instead of PowerShell. Yeah, I guess. It takes more time for the GUI steps of it, yeah. Sorry, uh, uh, one, sorry, one, one blurry lens. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, I kicked you off for a little bit. It's the night, the night bot. Night bot thinks you're spamming, so it kicked you out for some reason. Sorry about that. Yeah, so this is this is uh, this isn't uh, trying to come back up again. It had to uh, it had to do that update. Um, the updates are important because it's missing something, so it has to do an update. So it's just it's just spinning right now. Just give it a second. There we go. All right. Control delete. Gonna log in again. With that with that dumb password <laughs> password one two three capital P. Um, I'm gonna go here. I I I love the speed of this VM. By the way, it's so fast. You know. Um. I'm gonna close out this. Uh, we're gonna go back here. You see how I installed all this stuff? I'm gonna inst I'm gonna try to run this again. So I'm gonna do copy. I'm gonna do PowerShell. Uh, I'm gonna do run as admin, run as administrator, and we're gonna let that open up. We're gonna change it to the letter D. Uh, D dots. Sorry. And then we hit paste and try it again. It should it should try to run it again. Let's see let's see if it actually works. Um, it might work. It may not work. It said it was missing a file, so I had to install a file. Let's see if it lets me run the installation now. It should it should run. You could renew it, Andrew Andrew uh, uh, Prince. You could renew it. You could renew it. So you you run you run the you run um the s the slmgr command, and it basically it renews the it renews the trial for 180 days. We went over that on Saturday, by the way. On Saturday we went over that. So. You could actually renew a trial. So if it's 180 days, you could ex extend it to more days. Look, it's working now. 
now it's installing the schema in the exchange in the exchange server. It's actually working right now. So it's actually doing its thing right now. It wasn't working before. Now this is actually working. So it's good. We are, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so we're getting somewhere actually. So it's good. It's very good. Yeah, almost done. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Almost. Yeah, almost done. Yeah, you could you could extend the you could extend the um you could extend the, the number of days of a trial. So if you have a trial for for Windows 10 or trial for server or whatever, you could extend the trial. So we talked about how to extend it. This there's a link. I just put a link right there for you guys. So you could actually do it. You could actually extend it. So. So right now it's installing the Active Directory schema, which is what it's supposed to do. So we'll see what happens after this. So this is more like an interactive video. So this is like more like I go live and I do the installation and then you could just ask me questions while I'm doing it. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is just so you can interact with me because when I make a video, sometimes the video is not clear enough for people. So they don't understand what I'm doing. So this is, gives you an opportunity to ask me questions while I'm doing it. So then what we do is we're going to do this one. I'm going to copy and paste the next one, which is this one right over here. And I'm going to press enter and it's going to start installing the other, the other parts of it. So this is the next step you got to do. So uh, you see I'm running PowerShell commands. So like no one could complain that I'm not running PowerShell commands. Like you have to know PowerShell, by the way, if you're, if you're doing like, like, uh, like level two support, or if you're doing like sysadmin or you're doing anything that's level two or higher, like desktop support, like but level two, like tier two, level one, you might not do PowerShell. You might do it. You may not do it. Depends on the company, but you will see PowerShell at some point in your job. Someone's going to, someone's going to make you do PowerShell somewhere. So yeah, do not try this in your work PC and do not try this on a server. This is just for practice only. This is so you could build your own lab at home. This is why we install it on a VM. So when you install it on a VM, you could always just delete the VM and make a new one, if that makes sense. So, all right, so this is done. So we got, we got the last one right over here, which is this one. I'm gonna hit enter. I'm just copying and pasting basically. So now it's installing the last package software. Let it run, let it run. Should it should run. Now it's preparing the domain for the exchange server. So basically it's 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 actually interacting with the domain controller on the on the server I created. So it's actually interacting with Ketech and it's grabbing that and it's combining that with the it's combining that and creating the exchange server or whatever basically. If that makes sense. So now I'm going to close out of that. Close out of that. I'm going to go into my C drive explorer this PC and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to I'm going to click install and run. And let's see if it lets me run it. It's supposed to, but we'll see. Ah, no updates, it's fine. Let's see if it lets me run it. Yeah, you might you may need to you may need to know this to do like you may need a little power show if you're doing level one. You may not need to know it. It really depends on the company you work. Some companies may require you to learn PowerShell. I am gonna make a video on PowerShell at some point. So you'll see, you'll see that. You'll see, you'll see me make a video on that at some point, PowerShell commands and stuff like that. Is PowerShell a requirement for entry level IT support help desk? Some jobs, yes. Some require you to know PowerShell. Yes. Yes, some places, not all places, some. So we'll do recommended settings and hit next. And we're gonna do mailbox role. I'm gonna click on this one and hit next, 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 uh, next. And let's see if it works. It may not work, it might not work. Let's see if this works. Let's see if, if I get any error messages when trying to install this. Let's see if it, it may not work, it might work. So. It worked. It worked. Yes. Yes, it worked. Yeah, it worked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We didn't have to do any static IP. It worked, guys. Oh yeah. The Kevin dance. Wow. Wow. Kevin dance. 
Kevin, the Kevin dance. This is how you install Exchange Server on Server 2016, guys. So you could, you could make this live at home now. It worked. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the, the Kevin dance. Uh, feels, it feels good. It feels good to have a lab that works. It feels good to have a lab that works, man. You saw I ran PowerShell. I installed server 2016. I got the ISO for 2016. I, I put it on this server or whatever. And now I'm running the video on this. So can you do a video on lab on Hyper-V? Mine says no one uses Hyper-V in my job. No one, like, I, I haven't been in an environment that uses Hyper-V. Uh, I mean, I would make a video on that, but it's just, you know, it's just not common in my environment. Like, you know, but I'll, I'll make a video on it. That's fine. But this for guys, look at that. So this is a, this is how you would install Exchange Server 20, 2016 uh, on Server 2016. When you put it, in, I put it inside of it. Literally put it inside of it. You're about to, you're, you're going to see right now. This does take a while to install, by the way. This is not, this is not like one of those things that it's like a, a really slow install. It does take a while. But this actually works, man. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go over AWS and Microsoft Azure at one point, but this is this is more for people that because I you don't know how many emails I get a day. Um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but you don't know how many emails I get a day asking me, Kevin, can you do a live training and show us how to actually do it? Because I, I, I'm missing a step. I'm missing something. How do you how do you install it? How do you do this? How do you do that? So this video is more like I go over it and then you could just ask me questions while I'm doing it, you know? Then I'm gonna go over Microsoft Azure and then I'm gonna go over AWS at some point and do the same thing basically, but it's gonna be a little different. So, but you see, this is very time consuming. It does take a while to install. This is not like a this is not like a like an easy install. This does take a while to install, by the way. So, That wasn't so bad, right? I, I, we got it. We got it. Uh, we got it to work, right? That wasn't so bad. I know Donish has a video on Hyper V. Um, that wasn't so bad, right, guys? Look at that. I got the whole thing to work. This is, so this is how you make a lab at home, basically. You saw I put Server 2016. I'm installing Exchange now. You're about to see what else I'm gonna do. So let, let this let this run. This install does take a while, by the way. This is not like a really really slow install. This does take a bit of time. This is not. This does take a while, by the way. So. You just gotta have you gotta have patience with it. You gotta wait it out. Let it install. Let it do its thing. Once the install is done, it's well it's well worth it, guys. Trust me. Once the install is done, it's well worth it. You're gonna be really really happy with this. You're gonna like this. Watch. So you just gotta have patience with it, you know. But you're gonna you're gonna like it. It's installing right now, so just give it give it give it more time. I have a video on this, by the way. This the same video I'm doing right now. I have a video on this, but this is a little more advanced. But I have a video on this, by the way. I have a video on this. I made a I made it last year, by the way. So this is like this is gonna be. A, a, I'm adding more stuff to this. You're gonna see. So it's very time consuming to install this. We're already at we're already at 49 minutes. Very time consuming. So. Yeah, it's installing the the it's installing the language pack right now. So I hope I hope this um I hope this video helps you guys out. Like I hope this video is helping you out. See, I ran PowerShell commands and stuff like that. I hope I hope this helps you out. I hope this video is not like it's not like I'm wasting my time with this video. I hope I hope it helps everyone out. Like I know it's a little complicated, but I hope it, it helps you out in some shape or form when you're when you're trying to make your lab at home and you're trying to um, add stuff to your resume. So I hope this this video helps you out. If, 
if that makes sense. Because um, a lot of it is just doing it, but then a lot of it, then, then it gets complicated when you try to explain it on a job interview and stuff like that. What job can I get if I have my A plus and network plus? You get a uh, uh, desktop support, technical support, IT support. Um, you could probably get a job working, working, um, working uh, a help desk. So usually it's help desk. So A plus usually like more like help desk, it's entry level uh, jobs. Um, uh, average bot gamer. Um, so yeah. This is installing right now, so just just bear with me. You see, the install does take forever. So this video is going to be kind of long because of this install. This install does take forever. So, but this is more like interacting with you guys. You know, it's just, that's, the, that's the point of this video. So I could do it and then you can interact and talk with each other. So. So let that install. While, while, that, while we let that install, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to log into my... I'm gonna log into one of my accounts. I gotta log into something. Someone's emailing me about something. Uh, let's see. Uh, What is the minimum requirements for uh, to uh, to build a lab? Um, you should have um, you should have at least twelve gigs of RAM. I'm telling you right now, more memory the better, you know. So, hello guys, hope you are doing well. Hey, how you doing? Uh, my reaction will. Hey Kevin, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, Donna, should I apply for part time jobs? So you you should apply for other jobs. Yes, anything in IT, any jobs in IT is good no matter what job it is, whether it's part-time or full-time, you gotta try to get your foot in the door, that makes sense. Um, uh, okay, thank you, because right now I'm, I'm voice over IP tech. Okay, that makes sense. Um, IRFA. Do you have anything on Citrix? No, not yet, Justin. I am gonna make a video on Citrix. Don't worry about that. Just bear with me on that. Um, I am gonna make a video on Citrix. I, 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 had to, I, had to get, I had to get my gaming computer, I had to get my monitor set up and everything, but I am gonna make a video on Citrix. I have three monitors now, so it's going to be a bunch of lives coming for me, coming soon to a theater near you, if that makes sense. I am back, LOL. Had to call. What the? I had to call the cops. What the? Yeah, so I hope I hope this video, um, I hope this video helps, helps you guys out, you know? Hopefully this helps you out, you know? Hopefully. May I know your contact details? Whoa, whoa, that's too personal, man. I don't know about that. I don't want people calling me at five in the morning. Okay. All right. She has stuck right there at 71%. Look at that. It's gonna move eventually. It's just, you know, you gotta have patience with it. 75, 77. I had a vehicle parked in my driveway since the AM. Um, and no one knew who it was, keys in there, if anything. What? Exchange server question interview video. What are you talking about? What? I want to make a video on that. Do it. My 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 videos are entry level. My reaction. Stop. Stop. Stop recommending videos that are too advanced for new people. I'm gonna. I mean, it's good to know, but 
Um, I have videos on exchange already. I have a lot of videos on exchange already. So it's like me doing a repetitive videos, you know? Working help desk right now, LOL. Yeah, we have, uh, uh, Donna just gave you um, the email. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm still installing this, I'm almost done. I hope this I hope I hope this video helps you guys. I hope hopefully I'm not wasting my time with this video, you know. It's just it's just it's just uh, uh people are like, damn Kevin, you you your videos don't your videos suck, man. I'm just kidding, you know. Uh yes, uh Painbow is life. Yes, I made up yes, I did PowerShell just now. Literally, I ran PowerShell to run to run the install for this. So now it's just installing right now. So just just give it a second. I did PowerShell command. Otherwise, it's not gonna, this install is not going to work. So, uh, I have three years experience working as an internet cafe operator, managing about 15, 20 computers for a telecommunications company, Help, helping troubleshoot basic stuff. My question is, would this be good to add on my resume to help land that? Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, yes, yes. Add that to your resume. Yes. Add that to your resume. That will help you. Add that to your resume. Definitely recommend adding that to your resume. This is where we talk chit chat daily. <laughs> You're funny, man. Yeah, just trying to trying to run this install right now. It's almost done. It's at eight out of fourteen. It's gonna, it's a slow install. This is this video is going to be very long because of the install, not because of me. <laughs> Trying to make sure I don't miss anything new from your other lab videos. Yeah, I'm going to make another lab video. So don't worry. More videos are coming up. Um, this is just the beginning of one video. I'm going to make another video. So just bear with me. All right. I made a payment to my, I made a payment to my uh, files account i had to pay my internet I forgot to pay my internet before i you know actually it's due next next it's actually due the 20 something but whatever i'll pay it right now um donna should join this quarter already i have a few questions regarding my cv and stuff so i thought i could contact you damn that sucks man my reaction that sucks man that sucks that really sucks Uh, Lisa had off. To, I'm off today. I'm off today and tomorrow. That's the reason why I'm live today. Otherwise, I wouldn't be live at all. I literally would just be working right now. But I'm I'm off today and tomorrow. So, and I wanted to make. I wanted to get this video out there for everyone. If you're new to IT, I wanted to get this video out there for everyone. So, that's why. That's why I make. That's why I made this video today. That's the purpose of this video. See that the, the install is very time consuming. It's still stuck at eleven percent. Now it's going up to thirteen percent. It does take a while to install. Thirty thirty <laughs> percent. Uh, gotta have you gotta have patience with it. Donish, I will email you. Yeah, I have. I, I'm. We're we're on we're on Discord. So if you want to ask us a question, you could you could basically, you know, basically you you basically could just ask put the resume on Discord if you want. Um, will these videos help for a help desk analyst role? Yeah, it, uh, yeah. You need to you need to understand Exchange, Exchange three sixty five in Exchange. You need to understand it. So you, that's why I'm making this video because this is help desk. You need to understand Exchange. So when you're done, when you're done doing this, you could add this to your resume if that makes sense. Um, hi for dance intermission while we wait for the install. You want me to dance? You know what? While we wait for the install, give me a second. Give me a second.
I was actually, no, never mind. I was going to show, show you something, but I'll, I'll do it later. That's fine. Um, this has 12 gigs of RAM. This takes forever, uh, my reaction will. This doesn't, this is a, in, this is a install that takes a while. This has 12 gigs of RAM, man. I could put 14 or 18 if I wanted to, but it's, it's still going to take forever. The install for this does take forever. If you go online on the forums and check online, and if you go to the different forums and check to to install the server, the server does take forever. It's a it's a really long install. It's not it's not an easy install. This does take, this does take forever to install. So that's why it's, that's why it's so slow. It, it's a it's a fast it's not a fast install. So, um, Yeah, you need to know Exchange. So that's why I'm installing Exchange 365 on the computer or on the server because you need to understand it. That's why I'm, I'm making this video. And you can add it on your resume afterwards. If you know how to, if you know how to build this lab and you know how to do mailboxes, distribution groups, et cetera, et cetera, then you'll be good to go after that, you know? You'll be king after that, you know? You put that on your resume, you're good to go. It's going to help you. It's going to help you stand out on your, on your resume, so... Obviously, you need to understand it. You know, you don't don't just build labs on the fly and then put it on your resume unless you know what you're talking about. You know. Yeah, so this is still installing. I'm just gonna close out that. Show you what. Let me show. Let me see how the performance is. Yeah, look, it's not even the mem. It's nothing to do with memory. Memory has nothing to do with the install. It takes forever. The, this install does take a while to install. If you look at my other video. It's a 50 minute video, but it didn't take me 50 minutes to install this whole thing. It took more than that. It took like two hours to install it. So it's at 10 out of 14 right now. It took a while to install. It takes time. Why did you block me? What do you mean, why did you block? What are you talking about? You're on the live chat right now. What are you talking about? I didn't block you at all. You're on live chat right now. We have we have a uh, nightbot. Nightbot blocks people that joins chat and then and makes inappropriate comments. If you're gonna make an inappropriate comment, the 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 night uh, the bot is gonna ban you because you you don't make inappropriate comments. It's gonna ban you. So, can you conduct this, a session in Spanish? Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I tried that already. That didn't work for me. Um, if jobs are asking for network plus, I assume they are higher than entry level. Um, yes and no. Some companies entry level might ask for Network Plus um, because Network Plus has, I don't know if you know this, but Network Plus covers server stuff. So it, it does cover server stuff. A Plus only covers like the heart, uh, the operating systems. Um, Network Plus covers server stuff. So I definitely recommend getting Network Plus if you're, if you, you know, if you're trying to um, uh, do networking, but also understand like the server stuff because it does go. They do go over server stuff on Network Plus. It does server stuff in there. There's server, there's server stuff in there. So, um, it could be used for entry level too, though. So, it's good to have. It's it's a resume like any 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 cert any IT cert like A plus or Network Plus is good to have in your belt. Um, I think you should you should be balanced. I think you should have hands on training experience like what I'm doing right now, and then have a certification on top of that. It doesn't make you stand out. So it does help, you know. Um, yeah, like some people put A plus, Network plus, CCNA, Security plus on the resume to get an entry level job. You could, you know, it it, it does help. It's Exchange more of a sysadmin than no, it's not. It's not Exchange is not sysadmin. Exchange is also entry level. It, you have to learn how to do that. So if I go into um, let me see. If you go here, right? See this job, like it pays 45 to 55 a year, right? Office 365, right there. You need to understand what Office 365 is. You know, exchange, help desk. This is help desk. This is level one. Help desk, MSP. See, another one, Windows OS, basic Microsoft Office, mail application, Exchange, Office 365. Office 365 is right here. 
you know, you need to understand it. It's help desk, like help desk level one, help desk engineer, office 365. Office 365, exchange server. That's why I'm going over it. It's, it's, not like I, 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 it's not like I'm going over for no reason. I'm going over for a reason, you know? IT support, 40, 40 to 60K. 40. Exchange for a few few still holding on for a prem, on-prem ser servers. Look at this. Exchange again. Site support specialist. So all these all these jobs require you to learn exchange. It's, it's helped us level one. You have to know it. This is something you need to know. It's not like, you know, I'm not making it up on the fly. You need to know this. This is very important. This is still installing. It's very important. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exchange of the management level, not managing the server. Just this is this is managing an account like mailbox, distribution groups, share mailboxes, creating a user account with the mailbox, you know, stuff like that. You need to know all that. That's important. Not actually managing the server, but actually creating the account and stuff like that. Yeah, mailbox, users, passwords, et cetera. Yeah, exactly what Donnie said, exactly. You need, you need to know it. That's 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 important. You need to know this, you know? It's not it's not like I'm 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 creating this on the fly and you don't need to know it. It's super important that you know what it is, you know? So I got intimidated, Donnie she didn't apply. <laughs> funny <laughs> she's stuck at 11 percent right now is it a lot is it is it bottlenecking at all probably not no it's not it's not it's just it's just trying to install still so yeah but you, you need to understand the exchange stuff you know Yeah, so it's, it's, it, this is more like to help you, you know, understand the lab, you know, it's a, it's a lab video. So it's just, so, you know, that's why I'm installing it from the beginning to the end. So you can't say I, you can't say I skipped a step or whatever, or oh, Kevin fast forwarded in the video. What happened after step 10? You know, I'm going over the whole thing, you know, so. It's installing now. Obviously, if it's not set up correctly, you know, it's not set up correctly, then then you're going to, you know, you're going to have a bunch of error messages when you're installing this, but it's actually working. Hi, for the above link channel called Server Academy has good tutorials. Yeah, I do. I'm going to go eat after this, by the way. I'm just, I'm just making this video before I go. So just letting this install and then I'll get out of here afterwards. I've been live for an hour now. Oh, my goodness. So... I hope this I hope this video helps you guys out. So if you if you see something very interesting, let me see let me see if let me see if it's there. I'm gonna show you something while this is installing. Uh, I clicked on the wrong thing. I'm gonna close out of that. Um, how do you know it's installing correctly, or how do you know it's there? It's installed correctly. It's right here. Look, Exchange Security Groups. Look at this. So if you want someone to have certain rights to certain exchange stuff on the uh, on the computer, you can do that. Look at that. Create another account. Management of role can view, manage, configure, uh, user manage his or own mailbox. So like some of these have, you know, some of these groups are created when you're installing it. Look at this. Help desk. Exchange server admin. Exchange server. This group shouldn't be deleted. Look at this. Delegation, this, man, man, this members of this management group have permission to install and uninstall exchange. Compliance, this role group allows specific users responsible for compliance and proper configuration of this. Server management, manager of this role's role groups have permissions to manage all exchange servers. So this is how you know it's installed correctly because it's actually right here. Like it creates its own OU in the, in the in active directory, if that makes sense. So it's kind of cool. I just wanted to show you that because I was looking at that yesterday. I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is still installing. That's kind of cool. 
All right, Donish, take care, man. Take care, Donish. Four K for help desk. Are you kidding? Well, it depends who you are. You know, it depends where you live. Um, right now, I'm reading a book on wire, wire, uh, wire shark. Yeah, wire shark's good. Uh, it's annoying that you can't share links, but the channel is called Server Academy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you saw like there's a there's a few there's a few groups created. What hypervisor are you using? Hyper? I'm not using hypervisor. What are you talking about? Where did that come from? I'm not using hypervisor. This is virtual box. Yeah, so this is almost done. It's like fifty eight percent done. The install is gonna take long, whether you like it or not. No matter no matter where you install it, no matter how much memory you have and stuff like that, it takes forever to install. But after you're done installing this, it's well worth it. Trust me, you're gonna be really happy with it. Cause then you can play around with it, you create mailboxes, you start messing around with it, create user accounts and stuff like that. It's kind of cool actually, so. Yeah, I was like a hypervisor. Where did that come from? I'm using VirtualBox. You gotta watch the whole video, man. Don't skip the video. I from the beginning, I went over on VirtualBox. A lot of a lot of people watch my videos and then they they skip steps on my video. They don't want to watch the whole video. They just skip the whole video for some reason. I don't understand how people do that. And then when you when you skip a step and then the whole VM is the the server doesn't work after that because you skipped a step. You know, don't 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 skip steps. This is very important that you don't you don't skip steps. Pay pay attention to detail. It's very important. You know, people people email me or message me all the time because they skip steps. You know. Yeah, no worries, no worries, no worries, man. Yeah, that's fine. No worries. I'm not sure what monitor you're using, where you're watching it from, but um, yeah, no worries. Yeah, people people skip steps, man. Like I get email. I get email to, um, I get email all the time. Like Kevin, um, I saw your video and and it doesn't work for me. And then I'm like, I'm looking at, I'm looking at what they they send me a screenshot of it. And I'm like, what did you do? Oh, I, uh, oh, I, I was 30 minutes of the video and I, I only saw 15 minutes of it. I'm like, come on, man, don't skip the video. Watch the whole thing. Every step that I do is important on the video. Otherwise, the VM doesn't work. You gotta, you gotta follow instructions. You know. If you can't if you can't follow instructions, how can you get a job in IT? You gotta follow instructions. It's very important. Don't don't skip steps. You know, it's super. And I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Just don't skip steps. Just follow the video to the T. Follow it from the beginning to the end. Like don't don't go and the video is two hours long and you go into into one hour of the video and you skip everything. You know, it's, it's not it's not it's not gonna help you. You know, you gotta you gotta follow the whole thing. You know, so. Yeah, so it's, it's it's finalizing the setup. Um, why I'm making this video today, I I, I got to go over it again. It's because some people don't know how to make a lab at home, and I just created this lab with this whole video. So if you watch the video from the beginning to the end, I went over how to install a uh, uh, server 2016 on VirtualBox, and I went over all this other stuff. Uh, I want to add you, Kevin, my sister. Um, I can't give you my phone. Just email me my reaction. Email me. You have my, you have my email address. I, I, I don't want to give anyone my phone number because I don't want people calling me. Um, people try to call me. Just email me. Um, I'll give you my number um, in the email, in the email. But don't, don't, I don't want to give my number here because people are going to, people are going to start emailing me and calling me and I, they won't let me sleep. I literally had one person and I'm not, I don't know if he's watching my video right now. I had one person on YouTube stalking me because he wanted me to help him with everything. And I'm like, dude, dude, I make these videos to help people, but you can't be emailing me 24 seven. I have a life too, you know? So don't, 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 don't spam, don't spam my email. You know, people, people are emailing me. 
What do you? I have a video on on VPN already. Watch my YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel and watch my videos. Don't don't skip my videos, man. I have a video already on on VPN. Uh, let me let me look for it for you. Give me a second. People skip my videos. I don't understand people do that. I have a video on that already. Look. Do this. Troubleshoot VPN in depth, level one. I have a video on that already. Please watch my other videos. Don't skip my videos. People, people keep skipping my videos. I have a video that has 704 views, 51 likes. Yeah, so don't don't skip my videos. I have videos already on that. So. 20, it's a 24 minute video, but it, it's worth watching. It, it, I go over a bunch of different things. I was driving, not skipping. Oh, that's fine, man. I'm not, I'm not getting mad at you. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you can't see it, that's, that's fine. Just, just watch it when you get home. If you can't see the video here in your, in your phone or whatever, just watch it when you get home. It's fine. Yeah. So that's basically it. Um, this is almost, this is still stuck at 76%. Um, so obviously watch the video from the beginning to the end. If you're, if you're new to IT, watch this video from the beginning to the end. Um, this video is very important because if you want to make a lab at home, follow it from all the way to the beginning, all the way to the end. I know this is a very long video. I'm doing this on purpose because some people don't know what to do. And some people are new to IT and some people don't know how to make a lab at home. So I have to make this video for everyone because some people are getting confused. Some people get lost. Some people know how to create the lab. So this is how you create a lab at home. And I went over installing server 2016 um, and now I'm doing exchange server 2016 on server 2016. So now you have a, a, you have active directory and you have a server exchange 365 now on the computer as well on the server. So it's pretty cool. It's worth, it's worth knowing, you know? So yeah, so I have a video already on VPN. If you didn't check that video, the link's in the chat box. Um, yeah, no worries. No worries about the, the, the thing, yeah. It's caring. It's caring. Yeah. Sharing is caring, you know, sharing is caring. I'm here to help you guys, but like, you know, like I get mad sometimes, but you know, love you guys, you know, love, love you guys. Whether or not I get mad sometimes, I love you guys. Just, this is that this install. We're almost done with this. Uh, I'm, tor I'm, I'm torturing you guys right now with this install, but yeah, I love you guys too, man. So I get mad sometimes, but I love you guys. Obviously, you know, I make these live videos to help you guys out, you know, Try the best to help. I try my best to help you out as much as I can. Obviously, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not a superstar or a popular guy on YouTube, but I, I try to help as much as I can with people. You know, I try to help them when I can. You know, here to help. You know. So that, that's the point of the videos. You know, to help people. That's what. That's why I do it for is to help people. Like I could, I could be doing something else right now, but no, I like to help people. So. That's why I make these videos. It's, it's, it's uh, to help new people in IT. Because um, when I first started IT, I didn't know the I didn't have a roadmap. So my roadmap was like, what the hell? Where do I start? Like, do I just get like ten certifications and then apply for a job, or do I do I do something else? And then no one no one guided me when I first started working IT, and I got lost when I first started working IT. So that's the reason why I created my channel is to help people. To, to get a job in IT, you know, it's set up, it's complete. Congratulations. And it works guys. Let's, let's just launch it. See if it, let's see if it, it actually launches. It's supposed to launch. So, uh, always use Chrome. Let's use Chrome. Nobody likes IE. Everyone hates IE. So let's see if it opens. It's going to be very, very slow. At first it's going to be slow, but afterwards it should be fine. You know, let's see if this opens. It's supposed to open, you know. How do you know it's installed? You, you click on the start menu and you have all these things right over here. So you have Exchange Server, Exchange Server 2016 right over here. Um, it's a little laggy, by the way. I'm clicking on it. It's very laggy. So I have to add more memory to this VM. It works, but it's very, very laggy.
<laughs> Haifa got kicked for spamming. <laughs> uh, Haifa, sorry, Haifa. Yeah, stupid, stupid Nightbot blocking you for some reason. God damn it. Let me, let me close out of it. Click on it again. There we go. I'm like, why the hell is this not opening? All right, good. Yeah, sorry, Haifa. Kicked you out. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is you're going to do KevTech. I think it's KevTech or KevTech.com. So we do KevTech. We're going to do administrators. Administrator, and then I should let you log in. Um, I think it's captech.com. There we go. Oh, I spelled administrator wrong. God right, damn. I'm, I'm terrible at spelling. I think it's captech and then it's administrator and then it's my password one, two, three. It's supposed to log you in. See if it logs me in. Have you looked at your audience stats on YouTube? I have. Most of the people that watch my videos are in the United States. I don't have it. The people that are people that watch my videos in, in London, not really. Not as much. Um, Saudi Arabia, I don't know. Yeah, so this is working. This is working, guys. Like this actually works. Like from you see, like I start from the beginning to the end. This actually worked. Now it's working. Look at this. It's working. So Exchange Office 365 is working, guys. Um, yep. You can sign in as another user if you want. I'm going to close out of it and I'm going to try to reopen it again. I gotta add more memory to this. It's too damn slow. Um, click on it again. Okay, yeah, it has my it auto populates my my um, it auto populates my information. It's cool. I was celebrating in uh, Nightbot Nightbot. I was celebrating hater. <laughs> my hypervisor had an option. For video acceleration, it's made a, such a huge re removing the lag from you. Hey, Kev runs on Duncan. How you doing, bro? Kev runs on Duncan. I love this guy. Kev runs on Duncan is a separate. It's different from me. He's not. He's a different guy. I like him. By the way, he's on. He's on IT Career Questions channel. Uh, Kev runs on Duncan. He's a nice. He's a nice guy. He's cool. He's a. He, he's uh. He he's really cool. I like him. Um. No. No. He's not Kev Tech. He's not me. This is another. It's another Kevin. Um. He has. He has his own channel and everything. So. Um, Kev runs on Duncan has stuff as well. So very interesting. No worries. Can you expand virtual box and that, that could see what I can't expand it anymore. This is as much as I could go. Like you see, I can't go any further than this. I mean, I could make it bigger if I wanted to, but it, it depends on, on your monitor on your screen. Like, what are you seeing on the screen? Like it's, it's supposed to. You're supposed to be able to see all this, you know? All right. So let me, all right, all right, cool. Jess, this works. It's a little laggy, but it works. I got it to work. So what did I do? What the hell did I do? Um, I installed Active Directory Domain Services. I installed, um, I'll show you. I installed Runtime. I installed, uh, Net framework 4.7.2. I installed uh, Microsoft Visual C++ distribution 2013 and I installed Chrome on my computer and that's it. That's pretty much it. That's why I wanted to go over this and I wanted to go over this because some people don't know how to create a lab at home. So this is how you create a lab at home. So I installed server 2016, I installed Active Directory. I installed Exchange on, on server 2016 and you're good to go. That, that's pretty much it. This is this is what this is the point of my video for today. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make um 
I'm gonna make more more uh, more videos on this. So that's basically what the that's basically what the purpose of today is is to help you understand how to make a lab at home. So that's that's basically what it is. So yeah, Nightbot man, Nightbot is a, is a pain in the butt, man. Freaking annoying. But I had to I have to enable Nightbot because I don't want people spamming my 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 chat box. People would be trying to hack my account for some reason on 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 live chat. You know, I don't, I don't like that. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is video is just to create a lab at home. Um, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Um, hey, Captai. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be live again, and I'm gonna show you tomorrow. So just stay tuned for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna be live again, and I'm gonna go back to Server 2016 Exchange, Exchange 365, and I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over how to add a computer to a domain. So I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a computer to a domain using this server. If that makes sense. So stay tuned for that video. That will be tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go eat. So with that being said, I hope this video helps you out. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, leave it in the comment down below. You can always email me if, if anything. All right. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. Watch the whole video from the beginning to the end. I just, I, I did exchange and everything, all right? Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day and have a good Thursday. Take care. Peace. Later.